everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great day today for those of you who don't know me hello my name is Marie I'm a full-time musician I write and produce ambient and dream folk music primarily here in my home studio Henry who's my husband and also a wonderful musician Henry and I moved into a new apartment recently and I finally have the office studio space of my dreams so I wanted to give you a tour since it's finally complete now. My current music setup is a mix of pretty affordable gear along with some items that I felt ready to invest in, but definitely don't think that you need to spend a ton of money to have a working home studio. When I first started off, I was using very basic, very affordable gear, but now that I've been doing this for around 10 years, my studio has seen a lot of changes and upgrades since then. So this is what my current setup is, but don't think that you need to buy you know, my exact items or spend a ton of money if you're looking to start a home studio because you definitely don't need to do that. You can do it very semi-affordably, so just keep that in mind. Lastly, along with music, I love crafting and I really wanted a space where I could do both music and embroidery very easily, so I'll show you my crafting setup as well, um, along with other knickknacks and things in my room. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is my office. Let's start off with a visit to my crafting corner over here. Henry made this embroidery thread organizer for me after I saw something like this on Pinterest. I really wanted a functional but visually appealing way to show off all of these beautiful thread colors and I'm so happy with how this came out. We got a plain canvas board, measured out where the thread should go, and hammered in the nails. I wrapped my embroidery floss around these clothespins and wrote their color reference numbers on the side so I always know which colors to get when I run out. Over here is my embroidery hoop organizer slash display, and these are some of the recent pieces I've completed. It's really nice to have a place to put these while I'm working on different projects. On the shelf, I put some cute little knickknacks. This past Christmas, I got really into needle felting, and that's a little bird and bunny that I made. Here's another animal friend. I felted this mini version of my parents' dog, Mister. He's a cute and spunky little Karen Terrier. On top of the other shelf, I have some of my painted birdhouses. I got really into these a few years ago, but embroidery has kind of taken over everything. And this is my desk where all the crafting happens. I recently got these embroidery frames and I'm so in love with them. They're made by a woodworker on Etsy called Modern Hoopla, and you can hang them on the wall. It's just a lovely alternative to a plain hoop. Here's a tote bag I'm in the middle of embroidering little daisies on. I just got a bunch of these canvas bags and I'm so excited to decorate them. This is a diorama gifted to me by a fan of mine named Ruben. It's a scene from one of my new favorite games, Undertale, which I played for the first time on my Twitch channel. The song you're hearing right now is actually Ode to Undertale, which I made as a tribute to the game because I loved it so much. Down here is where I store more of my crafting supplies. Here I have a box of mostly acrylic paint. I really like using these for painting my birdhouses. This shelf is a little bit more random. In this little box, I store mixed sewing supplies that I use frequently. In this cute little tin, I have some of my favorite pens and markers and things like that. Here I have my brushes along with some other tools I use for painting. Here are my colored pencils and on the left hand side I have some colored markers too. And down here, there are even more embroidery threads. These plastic boxes are great for storing extra thread. I wish I could say I organize this all myself, but I literally found this at a thrift store as is. 
Inside this chest I have even more crafting stuff, but I won't bore you with those. Over here we have my stuffed animal friends. Here we have Chip, he is a cute little pup. And this is Ducky, Pudding, and Foxy. So that's pretty much it for my crafting area. Let's move on to my studio side. This is my keyboard. It's an old Yamaha PSR-225 and I've had this since I was a kid. On its own, the sounds are pretty cheesy, so I really just use this for MIDI programming. But I really like being able to play the keyboard without having to turn my computer on, if the inspiration strikes. Along the wall, I have my headphones and some fun instruments like the xylophone, kalimba, shakers, and tin whistles. It's really important for me to have my instruments at the ready so I can keep the creative flow going and try out ideas quickly. This is my audio interface. It's an Apollo X4 by Universal Audio, and to put it simply, this is what converts my audio signals to digital data in order to record and mix in my computer. I use Pro Tools for recording and production. This is my iMac Pro. It's definitely an investment, but very worth it for me. I rarely have issues when using lots of plugins while recording, and it's been a breeze for video editing too. I've been trying to sit less throughout the day, and so I got this motorized standing desk from Ikea. It's been holding up nicely so far. For my lullaby live streams and gaming on Twitch, I got these lights from Amazon and the brand is called Dazney. They come with a handy remote so I can change the warmth and brightness while streaming. I also got a second monitor by Acer for streaming to keep track of all my programs. This is my office chair that I got from Amazon and it's a great height for my standing desk. It's pretty comfortable too. Above my desk, I have this beautiful mobile I got at a shop in New Hope, Pennsylvania. When my windows are open, the breeze spins it around and it feels so magical. Off to the side, I have my main microphones. This is an SM7B and I use this for streaming. For recording, I use my Soyuz 017 tube mic. I love the way it handles the high end in my voice. It brings it out without sounding tinny or harsh, and of course, it looks just stunning. Over here is where I keep my guitars. This is a Celtic harp that I'm still learning how to play. On the stand from left to right, we have a Jack Cassidy electric bass, Henry Sterry Jones guitar, my thin line telly that I use for playing live, my Guild M20E, and lastly, my 77 Gibson Les Paul Custom Black Beauty. This guitar's tone is so warm and rich and it rings out like none other, but it's super heavy, so I can only really use this for recording. This is the other side of my room where I have my closet, some more instruments, and my couch. Let's take a closer look into my closet. On top of my shelf I have my sewing machine and some more knickknacks. Most of what you see here I found on garage sales, like these adorable mini teapot houses. Down here is where I keep some of my books. The rest of the stuff in the shelving unit are stationery, crafting materials, packing supplies, and my camera equipment, but I'm not going to bore you with all that right now. Up here is where I store my tour equipment and my merch. That's it for my closet. Over to the right, I have a few more instruments hanging on the wall. I have this baritone ukulele, a six string banjo, and this beautiful mandolin guitar. And this is my couch with a couple more stuffy buddies hanging out together. This is Topo the Corgi and Viscotti the Scotty. Above my couch, I have this beautiful woven tapestry that I found on Etsy. The artist's name is Rianne Arts, and her shop is called Teddy and Wool. I just love the mixture of textures and soft colors. And that's pretty much it. 
I hope you enjoyed the studio tour. Having a space where it's easy to be creative in has been so helpful for my workflow, and I hope you're finding ways to keep the creative spirit up too. Links to my music, Patreon, Twitch, and other sites are listed in the description, but you could also just find me under Marie or Marie Music. Thanks so much for watching and for your support. See you guys soon!